Okay, I got a BKS Janus, and this thing has been giving me trouble on the camera. Um, I pick it at my desk just fine, come here, camera, nothing, go back, pick it a couple times at the desk, no problem. So I've opened this several times. Usually I only open things once before I film it, um, but this time it's been giving me so much trouble on camera that I've gone back and forth with it. And the key is reversible on here, so you can go both ways. And uh, it has like this figure eight pattern that might be uh, tricky to tension normally, right? Like you might put a tensioner in and it would just, you know, rotate wherever. But this uh, lock has a little tiny nub on the bottom right here. It doesn't go all the way back. It's only at the front, almost like a manufacturer's defect. But that nub goes down this channel right here on the key. So it's meant to be there. And, you know, it's not going to stop you from reversing the key or anything. That's a reversible key. So um, I'm guessing it's just there for key control or something. I, I don't know. But in any case, it gives you a nice little thing to tension off of right there. And I'm always afraid I'm going to break it off because it's so small. But um, this lock has uh, four rows. There's pins coming from the left, right, top left, top right. And um, <clears throat> there's, uh, I think, 21 possible chambers to populate. Five per row, and then there's a sixth pin on the, bo on the bottom left. It's not really on the same row as the left. It's slightly down from it, almost like a fifth row. Um, but only one pin and this particular lock I think has 13 pins in it only has three on the right side There's two on the top right one on the right and then the left side is mostly populated It's really clustered there and, and, and difficult to navigate um, But we'll go ahead and, and, and pick this I got a Peterson hook number one and 25 thousandths and I'm going to start on the top right My theory is I'm tensioning counterclockwise kind of pushing to the right that binds the right pins first I found that to be true on all my high pin counts so far. It could be I'm just lucky but that's my theory, I'll stick with it. It's probably you know, bogus, there's nothing to it, but it seems to work. All right, so top right, number one, not binding. Top right, uh, it's in the second chamber. The first chamber is actually empty, but it's the first pin I'm encountering. Third pin seems, uh, third chamber seems empty, but the second pin I encounter is towards the back. I don't seem to feel anything there. Let's go ahead and uh, switch to this uh, multi-pick number nine. It's a curved flag. I'm gonna use the tip to push on the, um, pin rather than the curved back of it and if I put it down it just lines up right hits the pin and I turn it and get on top of the pin and then I'll go ahead and, and pick it so let's see go down but it's not binding okay so nothing seems to be binding right now we will go ahead and just make sure it's odd I mean maybe I'd go check the right side but I know from picking this before that the uh, I mean, I'd go check the left side, but I know from picking this before that the right side should be binding off the get-go. So I'm going to start over. Hook number one, which I'm going to use for the top left and top right pins. But I'm going to use it on the top right right now. First one is barely, barely binding. All right. It seems to maybe have been set. Nothing on the top right. Go back to that multi-pick. Check the... Okay, now the right side's binding. All right, click from that bottom right pin. Go back to these top boys, see if I feel anything up there now. Pin one, the first one is set up top. I can't seem to feel the back one. Almost like it's already up there. I think that's an empty chamber. I think the top right ones are all set. They're generally pretty easy. <clears throat> so I'll go to the top left. If they're set, then I should start getting binding pins on the left. So I'll check the first one. It is not binding, so I don't have the right side all set, which is weird. This has never been an issue before to get these right side ones set. Check that back right one one more time. Never had an issue setting these right side ones before. Very odd. I don't have any light down the keyway, so it makes it a little bit trickier to pick on the camera, but I'm mostly using my feel, so I don't think that should be an issue, other than usually I'd be sitting more left where the camera is actually currently at, so I'm using the lock picks more straight. Usually I'd be used to using more like this, so turning it like that is kind of like it's a weird, weird hold on the lock pick. All right, checking these top left ones again. No bind, no bind. So this is extreme. All right, the fourth one on the top is binding though. Click from that. Very straight. Okay, now the first one's binding. Click there. 
Uh, second one on the top left. Nothing. Let's check this uh, top right one seems to have dropped down on the QA note. Very strange so far. All right, let's check these left bottom left pins. I'm using a, a multi-pick number one, curved in the opposite direction. Doesn't quite reach high enough to hit the pins. Um, so I have to kind of lever it up a little bit, which is a little unfortunate. Um, the driver pins in here are all standards, but the key pins have um, like a drop down taper to stop them from falling into the keyway. Uh, the plug has some over milling that it can drop down onto a ledge. Um, <clears throat> all right, so one, two, three, four, I felt nothing on here. Five is a lot lower than the rest. And then six is our binder here. Gotta click from it. Um, I think five is binding now. Oh, isn't that five? It's very hard to feel five and six in the back of this. Oh, that's me just falling off of, uh, all right. Uh, one, springy, two, springy, three, springy, four, and five. Five. <laughs> What's going on now? There's five. Uh, maybe it's not binding. All right, check these top left. I didn't get pinned two on the top left, which was weird. No, springy, three, little click from three. One, two, three. So the bind order is completely different than what I've been used to so far. So I don't know what happened. One, two, three. But you should ignore bind order anyways. You should be um, just picking by feel. All right, five. I keep sliding off of it. There's a click from five. One is binding slightest bit, but not really. Two's binding. Click from two. Three. Very hard to push three. I might have overset three. Hope not. One binding. Uh, what four? No click from four. One, two, three, four. Okay, but still not open. Let's check the top left. I don't think I ever got pinned two on the top left, but it's not binding. All right, I'm going to let off some tension to see if maybe something I overset slightly, hopefully not too far, and see if it drops down a little. So I heard something drop down a little bit. Um, and now one is binding. Click. Two, nothing. Three, nothing. Four, binding. And we're open. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> very different picking experience than I've had before with this lock, which is kind of weird. Uh, but it got open anyways, and we'll go ahead and turn on our autofocus, which is in the wrong spot. Let's just move it down to the middle, something like that. And we'll go ahead and see if we can remember how to gut this. I didn't bring out a hammer, that's the thing. Okay, so I got some pinning trays. Let's see it like that. And to gut it, Let's grab, oh, this thing. I'm gonna switch to regular glasses. I was using these, kind of uh, be able to see a little bit better, but switch to my regular glasses. And there's a little plastic um, piece on the bottom here that stops, I think, a pin coming up down there. And then there's a roll pin here that you gotta get out. <clears throat> I've taken it out previously, so hopefully uh, it won't be hard to take out right now, um, but let's see. I don't really have a, I didn't bring out a vise to pound it on. This is probably a bad, bad idea because it will um, have something to hit this with. <laughs> I don't have the right tools out. I'm going to lose that piece. All right, uh, it is coming out a little bit. I don't want to damage the tray. Let's grab this guy here. Let's see if I can't do something fancy here. I really need my hammer, but it's in the other room. Might grab it if I need to. No, it seems like we're having luck. It's come out most of the way there, the roll pin. A little bit more. It keeps 
Oh, okay. Got the roll pin out. There we go. So now with that out, the um, the back can come off with all its goodies. There we go. It's got the little flag actuator there. Put that there. Move this up. Give me my focus back. All right. Uh, now we have. Oh, isn't there a ring? Oh no, there's um, there there's no ring on the back to hold the 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 plug in, but it does have these two pins here, and these two pins were prevented from coming out by this plastic piece. Um, you can't really see right there, but I'll show you. They got like little um, indents on them that that plastic uh, goes into and stops it from coming out. So those guys, let me find a pair of tweezers. There we go. They'll come out here, at the top, like this. So I don't keep. Do you see how it has like the indent, and then this plastic piece will go and stop it from coming out like that. Not that you could, even without that plastic, these, these couldn't come up because they're blocked by um, that metal bar there from coming up anyways. So there's two of them. One, two. If they don't come out that easy, you just gotta like push and pull the plug a little bit. And now the plug is free to, to come out. I don't remember how I do this. Okay, so there we go. The first one's already coming free. And that is uh, the bottom left, that sixth pin, right, on the bottom left. It's kind of in its own row. So we can take this, um, we can take this uh, driver out like that. Uh, that's just the driver spring. One, two, three, four, five, six on the bottom left. And I should be able to get that, that driver out as well. Doesn't, uh... Yeah, the driver should come out. I think that this uh, key pin does not come out. It's routine, but the driver we should be able to get out. We'll get it out in a bit. There's also, you see this this pin up here? I don't know if it even comes out. Um, but it's like a plug chamber. All right, let's see. Which pin's gonna come out next? Push it out a little bit further. Looks like winner is nothing there. Um, so you gotta keep track of empty chambers. Uh, usually I have like a, a dry erase, but I guess I'll just use a Sharpie. <clears throat> um, and then I'll keep track of uh, empty chambers like this. So you remember which one each thing goes in. So number five on the bottom left is here. I'll take that out next. Number five, bottom left. So there's number five. So I'm gonna do bottom left, top left, bottom right, top right. Okay. And I'm drawing all over the, the tray. All right, let's see if I can get these pins to come out. No, they don't want to come out. All right, spring top left, number four. All right, because number five is stuck, so top right, number four, right there. Um, sorry, top left, top left number four. This is going to be a long gutting, I think. Bottom right, number five is empty. So one, two, three, four, five is empty. So I'll just mark that. Top right number five is empty. Mark that like that. Top right number four has a spring right there. So I'll put that in top right number four. Um, the drivers I'll worry about after. It's more of a issue to lose springs. Switching over to left left side, bottom left, number uh, four, right there. Uh, they won't lay down. All right, bottom left number four there. I feel number four coming out bottom right. Felt the spring popping. Keep your fingers over all the all the um chambers on the side that you can't see and at least you'll feel them pop out when it's time top mostly these don't go flying because they are kind of um, attached to the driver pin this is top right number uh, top left number three you see how the driver pins kind of attached there so they tend not to fly out at least which is a good thing 
Um, Keepins don't seem to be falling out, so doing okay there. All right, so top right number three seems to be empty. Bottom right number three seems to be empty. So I'll mark those as empty. I can clean this off afterwards with just some like acetone or something. All right, bottom left number three. Top left number two. Oh, I just <laughs> so that would have been bad if uh, if the springs would fly. Bottom left number two, and the key pin came out with it. So we got oh, almost lost something there. Come on, scoot down. Here's the driver, and we got a key pin for bottom left number two. As you can imagine, putting this back together is going to kind of suck a little bit, but. Um, all right, so top right number two, right there. And top left number one is right here. And it came with a key pin. So when I pulled that out, I guess like lubricant or something stuck the two pins together, so it came out with it. And let's see what I got. I got bottom left number one with a key pin. Okay, let's see what I got on the right. Nothing on the right. So empty, empty, empty. So if we look at this before I pull out, start pulling out key pins, you can see you've got uh, you've got five chambers on the right. I can see there's a pin in chamber number four on the right. That's the the only the only pin in there. So let's go ahead and grab a flag and get that guy to come out. Okay, that doesn't seem to want to work. Um, percussive. Get it out percussively. Doesn't seem to want to work. Close that up. Uh, hmm. Okay. Top left number four. No. Oh yeah. There we go. There's the top. Top right. Sorry. Number four. And. The, in the meantime, this one did come out, the bottom right, number four. Top right, number two. Okay, that came out. So there's five chambers there. You'll see on the left side, five chambers, five chambers, and then this one chamber here. Um, the, the plug is turning. So we're losing access to our key pins. All right, we'll go after the top left ones, I think. Or maybe the bottom, bottom left. Number, let's see if we can get number three out. Okay, number three. Number three, bottom left number three. Bottom left number five. Bottom left number four. Okay, it's coming out now. Top left number two. Top left number three. Top left number four four and I think that's all the pins that will come out you can see there is some sort of uh, plug in number five of the top left for whatever reason and there is oh wait here it comes out actually it's a plug like that you see that but there's no spring so top left number five is that no spring there is a key pin here it looks like it will come out but it's like, I don't know. It, it's, so that one is always set to the right uh, depth. Um, number six, bottom, bottom right number six, uh, bottom left number six is right there. And it, you can see the pin here poking into the chamber some. And we can push down on that, but it doesn't come out. It, it's stuck in there. So while, so that driver can come out and it just fell on the floor. Um, so, but the but the key pin doesn't it doesn't come out. Um, can't get that key pin out. So that one's like, or wait, is it coming? I've never had it out before, but I'm pretty, from everybody I've talked to, this one doesn't come out. It dropped down a little bit. I think it can't even be overset. Let's see. No, it can be overset. Ah, oh, okay. It's blocking right now when I push down on it. I wonder if I can, it would be really nice to be able to get that out. But let me find the pin I dropped, hopefully. So I can show that along with everything else. 
some shiny stuff on the ground. That is a screw. Probably came from my Kindle. All right, and there is, what was this, bottom right number six driver pin. So the only thing I haven't been able to get out is that, sorry, I'm bumping the tripod. That bottom right number six key pin doesn't seem to come out. And you can't remove this plug from the outer, from the outer sleeve because um, it is crimped right here to the inside. Crimp, crimp, crimp. So three crimps right there. And they're really thin. And if you pull them down, I'm sure this plate could come off. And once you get this plate off, then you can take the inner plug out the back. But then you're probably not ever going to be able to reassemble that part. I um, really wish I could get this out. If I had a paper clip, We could attempt something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try something. Paper clip and maybe like a pliers. Like this. I'll give this a try and then we'll take a look at the um take a look at the pins after. It'd be really cool if this comes out. No, oh, is my paper clip too fat, or is it just not go any further? I have a feeling my paper clip's too fat. Now my paper clip drops into another chamber. Make this chamber smaller, though. Uh, doesn't seem to be going in. I would use this one, which is a smaller paper clip, but it's got a um, got a plastic coating on it that needs to come off. Let's see. Should be a knife in here. There we go. Sorry that I'm experimenting on camera, but some people might find this interesting, at least. Okay, so take that off. And then we'll bend this. And see if this one fits. No, just that that, that key pin just doesn't come out. So you'd have to somehow take the sleeve out to get that key pin out. That key pin is retained in there. And it does seem that you can overset it. Oh, it would be interesting if it came out a different hole. <laughs> All right. In any case, 21 chambers. All right. This one has uh, five there, six there. Oh, sorry. This one doesn't count right here. This, this fifth one doesn't count. It, it, it's just a, a plug. So there's only four there, six there, that's a 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's take a look at this a little bit closer, hopefully. Oops. Zoom in, and here are the left pins. So what I was saying is that if you take one of these pins and you lift it too high, oops, you take one of these pins and you lift it too high, you see you drop into this lower area here right and that will allow the plug to turn and so you can keep picking but then you drop into false set and you won't be able to drop this key pin down without counter rotating at which point you probably drop most of your most of your pins so um, yeah that you, you want to be very careful not to overset it's very easy to overset uh, I think all these drivers look pretty much the same they're all they're all just standards so I don't know if I'll lay them all down We'll see some of them at least. So there's the left pins, right? The left bottom, left top, and here are the right pins. Um, lay that guy down. Yeah. I don't. I guess the greens are all the same length or something like that. Um, these are all pretty high sets, and uh, I guess that green there. Yeah, it's a pretty high set. This is a pretty high set. So all these greens, greens are pretty high sets, and these um, gold ones are really low, like almost zero lifts. And these copper ones are somewhere in between. Anyway, that is the uh, BKS Janus. And I think because it has 13 pins, this would qualify for red currently. You'd need a 14th pin to call, uh, have black, but mine has 13. So thanks, everyone. Bye.